here's everything that's gonna go in my closet sale. not to look at any of the plants because I know I'll buy them and I don't need them. I'm just here to get pots. plant that I got. plan is to make this one grow taller. Hi everyone, welcome to another vlog. As you can tell, <laughs> I, I don't know, there's like energy in the air, mercury retrograde is happening, and apparently today's a good day to redecorate and organize your space, and I definitely feel that right now. I just emptied my little vacuum canister, so let's see how much dust it collects. This is the best feeling. I think it makes it look too blocky if I put it like that. It's so strong. Ooh, it looks so artsy already. I'm kind of dating it. I'm using this old magic eraser that I got. This was from when I first moved into my first like apartment ever. <laughs> and I'm trying to just get rid of these marks, you know? I feel like these weren't a thing for like Asian households, but damn, this stuff works, eh? I don't even know what these marks are. Good morning. It is currently Saturday and Shelby's on the way to come pick up this couch. So I need to, I don't know, just move it over there. My beautiful velvet couch. I think Shelby's gonna bring a sofa cover, but I just wanna make the move easier for her. Bye. Yeah. 
like, you're like, after you're like, you're job, blogging about the tea, and I was in this one, and I was like, oh, my God, I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sweating so much. <laughs> this is so crazy. <laughs> I'm like actually in love with this, but can you tell how sweaty I am? I think I ran up and down the stairs four times, <laughs> four or five times. Um, that was a good workout. The other thing I want to do is figure out the situation. I want to shape this tree. So what I love about this one is that it was branched and it's just like so aesthetic with the one trunk. This is my new one. I really want to let it grow and like fill up more of this um, space that I have. But as you can see, it's just very <laughs> wild right now. I think that's it for, for right now. And I'm going to just live like this for a bit and to feel it out. It's very, very open right now. <laughs> Minimalist to the extreme. I know it looks a little bare right now, but the leaves will grow in. Look at all these branches. Oh my gosh. Okay, update. It looks a little bit skimpy, not gonna lie, but I have to prune or trim like the branches off in order to direct the growth where I want it, which is here because i want it to go taller i just watered it and gave it some plant food so i'm gonna leave it and hope that it you know gets used to these main trunks now but yeah i hope that these do well okay hi everyone it is later in the day same day just put some makeup on because i want to you know channel that main character energy I've been trying to do that more because recently I've been in another depressive episode and it's taking everything in me to start getting out of it. But anyway, more on that in another video. I've done a ton of <laughs> rearranging in the past few days and Shelby just picked up the couch this morning. So I wanted to give you a quick update on, I guess, where everything is right now in my loft. So a quick loft update. Um, yeah, I'm still waiting for my couch to come in and now that everything's empty, I'm just like, hey, what do I actually want to do? But let me show you. So the first new thing is actually these shelves. They look like this right now because I was going to paint them to match this wall, but my paint dried, so I need to go buy another small can. But that's why all of these like papers are still behind it because I was gonna just like paint around it. These are the, um, the other language instructions for my vacuum but yeah i'm really excited about this i think it will i think it like adds something to this to this wall 
And then I moved my piano into my bedroom. I felt like I was, wasn't using this like little den area at all. So right now it just looks like this because that rubber tree I'm also selling um, and someone bought it, but he asked me to hold it for another month because he's moving into a new place. So that's why it's there. And then I had to kind of style everything else around it because it's like a pretty big tree, but I love that tree so much. The shape is so nice. So right now I just have a little like, I don't know, <laughs> put my random plants there and it's gonna be my like chill meditation space. And then in here, I moved my bed this way um, just so that I could put the piano here. And I honestly really like it. Uh, I know it's weird to have like the, the length of the bed against the wall, but I've been sleeping facing that way for the feng shui. And then the piano was here. And then I have the stool right now, which I don't really know what to do with yet. And then everything else is the same, but you can see how like empty everything is because I don't have a couch right now. And then I trimmed this rubber tree as you saw earlier and everything else is the same. And then I just have my mirror there. But I thought that I would show you some of the pieces that I, um, I wanna sell in my closet sale. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> my mirror is so dirty. Like just quickly show the pieces that I wanna sell just to see what you guys are interested in. I was meaning to post them right away after I did my closet declutter, but then I was, hella depressed so <laughs> i haven't done like anything that i haven't needed to do in the last few weeks which is why it's taking a while but yeah i'm starting to you know have more energy to do things again so let me bring those out here okay so, okay so i have like this little like um I'm gonna be using fully compostable mailers. If you ordered from me in the past, you know that I was reusing packaging from like my like orders and I asked my friends and my coworkers to save their like mailers and stuff too so I could reuse those. I'm really excited that I can use these. The reason I wanna do this is because I decided to do my sale on a bidding system. So I'm going to post all of them at once to my Instagram account at Rue Studio. Uh, so go follow that. And if you're already following it, I'm so sorry that I'm going to bombard you with so many photos, but you can just mute me. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is open the bid starting on a certain day and then leave the post like open for bidding for two weeks, three weeks, I haven't decided yet. This is a really yummy knit sweater, camel, amazing. I know it's summer right now, doesn't make sense. This is a vintage Ralph Lauren polo. I absolutely love it. It's like a neon navy. Um, yeah. These are Stuart Weitzman loafers, and I would say they're like a size seven, seven and a half, but they're super cute. I know they're very fall. Um, some of you said that you'd be interested in some of the fall winter pieces too, and that's cool. Like, I'll post them if you want. New Nordgreen watch. Um, this is the silver native, and then there's also a blue leather strap. I also have these, these are the Reebok corn sneakers. Super susty, a little bit dirty. I'm gonna clean these, um, but they are just a little bit too small for me. So they like rub my toes weird. I did try to wear them, but these Converse Chuck Taylors, these are the recycled denim. It was an exclusive project that they did with a vintage shop a few months ago. Little suede, faux suede blazer. This is a really cute duster coat for spring. Levi's suede jacket. Neon shorts with pockets. Really cute tank. I have this brand new Able belt bag, cotton square neck top, thrifted linen, like berry trousers with a belt. So cute. Marks denim. These are literally the best like size. We have smaller waist, bigger bum and hips. And they're just a bit too big for me now. Blue ones, also good for a size eight-ish. Outland denim, great Susty Money brand. Cotton denim as well, also just too big for me. Jumpsuit, which I thought I was going to embroider, but Bell and Tony high-waisted wide leg pants, super cute. Little Club Monaco blouse. Aritzia romper, workwear jumpsuit. Too like casual for me now, you know? Monaco. A silk Aritzia blouse. It's a bit too small for me, but I absolutely love this so much. Really cute striped blouse. Square neck tank. Nude colored tank. White t-shirt. 
vintage Levi's crop. I absolutely love this. It's just not really my style anymore. Two trousers. This one is super cute, more of a fall winter print. There's a brown linen trouser, but this one is big for me. Probably like a size 10, 12, 14. Here are also some of the jackets that I'm selling. I showed in my declutter, so the amazing trench. This is a really, really cute um, wool cream jacket. I wish this fit me better, but it's so nice. These are, this one's leather, this is faux leather. This is great for spring. This is a really nice Danny one. Really nice vintage Sisley denim jacket, army jacket, velvet corduroy. And then this is a made in Canada, kind of like teddy cropped jacket. I don't know if anyone would be interested in like the colder weather pieces, but if you are interested in these more spring ones, let me know. I realize I probably shouldn't have just taken everything out like this, but this is everything that's gonna go in my closet sale. Let me know if there's anything specific that you're interested in so I can prioritize posting those. I'm so excited that I have these compostable mailers for my closet sale this time. These are by no issue. They did send these to me, but it's not sponsored. These are 100% compostable mailers. I'm sure you've seen these if you've ordered from other small, sustainable minded brands, but these compost in six months and you can compost them at home, which I think is amazing. And if you think six months is long, think about how long it takes for plastic to degrade and break down. So six months is nothing. These are made out of plant materials. So for example, corn, and they're also reusable which is awesome. So thank you, no issue. I will leave them linked down below if you need mailers or are curious. Also just a cool brand to support. I always appreciate when brands that I work with use mailers from here because um, they're just super cute and I really like what they're doing. But yes, now this is all a mess. It's currently 9 p.m. and the sun is setting, which is really pretty, but I just filmed my skincare video which i'm really excited to share with all of you because look at my skin you can totally see where my scarring and my acne still like the texture still is but it's gotten so much better today was a crazy day and i still feel so hyper and energized from seeing shelby and trish earlier just a little bit because i haven't like seen friends or like socialized in person just like seeing friends in person makes such a big difference, especially because we've been in lockdown for so long. I'm gonna go make dinner now and edit this vlog for tomorrow because I, I love a good Sunday vlog, but I hope you enjoyed and please leave a like if you did. Comment down below how you've been doing, what you want to see more of in my vlogs. I know that I love vlogging and I always get comments on my vlogs asking for more vlogs, so I'm trying, but also I feel like for the day-to-day, -day, like my life is pretty boring. <laughs> If you've been feeling weird and off, so have I. I have been in a depressive episode for about two and a half weeks and trying to, you know, pick myself up out of it. But I'll talk about that in another vlog because this one's getting really long. But I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye everyone.